Now, there's no question that I actually use Procreate a lot on my iPad. In fact, it's one of my most used drawing applications. I use a prefola. Is that how you say it? A prefola. Plethora. That's it. I use a plethora of apps for my creative doings on the iPad, such as Procreate. I also use Vectinator. I use Adobe Illustrator on the iPad and Photoshop on the iPad and Adobe Fresco and probably a few more that I've forgotten about. All these apps are great at doing different things. Some of them do things better than others and vice versa. I think two years ago Adobe Fresco was released onto the iPad and I was excited for it and I think many people were because it was kind of like Adobe releasing a new app for the illustrators, the people who do a lot of drawing. And prior to that, they had an app called Adobe Sketch, which they used. And even before the Apple Pencil and the Apple Pro came out, Adobe had something called the Adobe Ink and Slide. And that was like an Apple Pencil with like this little nub, which was a ruler that you could use. It was the Apple Pencil before its time. Now, the reason why I'm talking a bit more about Adobe Sketch, the old app, and why it's been brought sort of into Adobe Fresco is because there are a lot of features inside of Adobe Fresco that people don't really know about, but you will love if you see them. So in this video today, I'm gonna to try and convince some of you to try Adobe Fresco because this is not sponsored by Adobe. I genuinely think this app is amazing at drawing, especially if you're a logo designer or if you're doing font creation or very, very complex hand lettering. Okay, so number one, the biggest feature that Adobe Fresco has that Procreate doesn't is rulers. Yes, in Procreate, we have guides and they're great. And we also have the hold for straight line functionality. And, you know, you can draw a shape, hold it with the Apple Pencil, and it will create that shape for you, which is great. It helps a lot. But what Procreate has missed out on, in my opinion, is the ability to have rulers and drawing aids. Now, I don't know about you, but as a designer, I like precision. I like consistency and I like being able to do it easily. I like to use tools that are kind of familiar with me, which are drawing aids like rulers, compasses, you know, having shapes that I can draw from. Adobe Fresco has these drawing aids. They have a ruler, which is basically taken from Adobe Sketch. It's the same kind of ruler that you find in the Notes app. They also have a circle which you can transform, which becomes a guide for any brush that you're using in Adobe Fresco. You have the square version of the drawing aid and also a polygon version of the drawing aid. Now you might be wondering why would you need them if you're doing like illustration or hand lettering? Well, technically for illustration, you don't need them. I think with illustration, Procreate is very good and also Fresco, but where it becomes an issue for me is when I'm doing logo design or creating a font. Font creation, you have to be accurate. It's not any use just sort of doing it on a whim the things have to be correctly placed there has to be consistency down to the tiniest levels and obviously when you get into apps like glyphs when you actually have the drawing of a font and you bring it into glyphs it becomes a bit easier because you can get that consistency in vector but when drawing icons logos fonts it is so important not just to have a ruler but these drawing aids you can see here i'm actually drawing a logo it's a circular one just a random random logo just to show you well inside of procreate to do this there are a few ways you can obviously create a perfect circle which is great and then you can sort of brush out or you know get rid or draw in by hand, just freehanding it, maybe getting the smoothness up in streamline on the brush, and you can freehand that squiggly bit in the middle. Now that's great if you've got a steady hand, but what if you want more consistency? Well, as a logo designer, when I'm actually drawing logos, I like to use grids. They help me a lot, and I use them based upon just rulers when I'm drawing normally. So in Adobe Fresco, I use the drawing aids and it becomes a lot more natural for me because I've got basically a ruler or a circle guide and I'm drawing it over the top of it. Another example is when I'm creating a font. You can see here with the word hand glove that I'm sort of creating this font. I started it in Procreate because I had this idea, but now I need to really, really refine this to get it so it's basically line perfect. Well, instead of doing this in Procreate and always undoing, doing the two button tap or the three button tap, I can bring it into Adobe Fresco and use just the standard drawing pencil and the ruler. And then when I don't need the ruler, I can actually create 
a square that I can move around. So this rectangle becomes the stem of the H and it becomes the stem of the D. So everything is consistent and I can carry on using that stem. I can move that drawing aid and just draw over the top of it with like the most ease. And you can see the difference. It looks so much cleaner and so much easier to vectorize over the top of that and create something out of it. Now let's talk about logo types. So it's a word logo. A word mark. Again, these have to be consistent all the way through. Obviously, this one is a bit different. Just a random one that I've done one day that I've brought from Procreate where I use the brush tool into Adobe Fresco. Well, normally in Procreate, to grid something up, I would have to like copy and paste a bunch of straight lines that I've created at a specific angle. But inside of Adobe Fresco, I can use that same rectangle tool after I've sort of gridded my baseline, my X height and descender and A sender, and I can just basically create the thickness of the fix all the way through. So as you can see, those rectangles are the thick parts of the letter and they're at the exact angle. I can get them to the exact X height. I can make everything super consistent. And in logo design, hand lettering, font creation, graphic design, consistency and proportions are huge. That's what makes, that's basically what separates the men from the boys when it comes to good design. And yes, in Procreate, you can use straight lines and you can have shapes like with the A for the rounded part of the A, I go ahead and normally just draw a circle and edit it inside of Procreate using the handlebars. But in Fresco, I can create the circle before I draw on it with the transformable drawing guide. And with that, you get much cleaner lines. And I absolutely love that. Another feature that isn't a deal breaker, but it's just a little quick one that makes life that little bit easier, it saves that little bit more time, is export to Illustrator. I know Vectinator has this functionality, and I know we have Illustrator on the iPads and everything, but when I'm drawing like a logo type or an icon on here, I'm generally going to vectorize it. So it's got to go into a vector program like Adobe Illustrator. So with this, I can just literally press send to Illustrator. If I click that, then boom, <laughs> it's already inside of Illustrator. There's no need to worry about bringing it in or scanning a document in. It's literally just pressing a button for it to automatically be put on my screen in front of me to start work on. Seconds turned into minutes, minutes turn into hours. You know, it was only a few years ago where I would have to like use a ruling pen or a brush pen and draw out like a hundred different versions of a logo. Then I'll have to refine it with paper, tracing paper, and I would refine it for a whole day. I would either use another brush pen or a liquid ink over the top of that I would make a mistake, probably have to do it again. Then I have to do it again. Then I would have to power on my ridiculously expensive scanner with a high DPI that had to be plugged into my iMac. Use the weird software it came with, upload that, scan it in, and it was at a ridiculous DPI, so it slowed down Illustrator. Bring it into Illustrator, vectorize over the top of it, and then get a sweat rag because it was ridiculously hard to do all that. Now it's simply just press it for Illustrator. Now I know this seems like a really strange video, but I think it's important for everyone to use different softwares. I'm not tied to just one kind of software. I like using different ones. I like the change, I know some people don't, but changing the software and experimenting can really help you with your creative process. And in Adobe Fresco, again, this is not sponsored at all by anyone in this video, but Adobe Fresco has got all the tools I need for great sketching of logo designs. That's it, give it a try. Before I go, I will say this video is brought to you by me for the first time ever. You may not know, but recently my Skillshare original class came out and I want to invite you there. It is a class that is amazing in my opinion and it will transform the way that you create logo design ideas. In essence, the class is taking you through my process of generating ideas from this brief all the way to finish logo concept. If you're new to logo design or someone who feels the pressure or gets that creative block all the time when they're coming up with logo design ideas for their clients or their personal projects, then this video is great for you and this class will change the way that you start designing logos. If you enjoyed this video, press that red subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. See you soon, goodbye. Ping.